not only here in the sporting capital of Australia here in Melbourne but it represents all Australians Advance Australia Fair Get us underway here at the Melbourne Pavilion. We've got the Oriental Pacific Boxing Federation and the vacant Commonwealth Junior Middleweight title. A lot of people used, used to like it as light middleweight. It became junior middleweight. And now it's known as super welterweight. That's Anthony Buttigieg in the white with the red star and the silver stars. And Rocky Jerkic in the red and the black. The young indigenous man from Queensland, the taller of the two, stands at six foot. Nice well, little nice short right, right hand. He's got a great right and hand, Jerkic. The, the thing is that, that um, Jerkic just looks so much taller and bigger than than, um, than Buttigieg. But you know, Buttigieg's fought tall guys before in Sam Columban and that were, were serious fighters themselves Absolutely. and beat them. Um, looking at um, you know Anthony Buttigieg's record, you know he's beat some serious fighters in Sam Columban, Freddie Tooks, Benny Caps, Joel Camilleri, Ven Franco Venezuela. He's been there in there with the best, so he might be short. Absolutely. But I'll tell you what, he can fight. He can fight, and there's no doubt about that yep. at, um, at Super World Oak. But uh, Rocky Jerkic is, I think he's a very, very complete fighter. This will be yep. a real test for yep. him tonight. Totally. He, he wants to step up and move into the, into the international scene, but he's got to beat the butters of the world and totally. guys like that. He had a war with, um, with Shaggy. Shannon Shaggy King up in Brisbane, and uh, that really tested him that fight. And he's really... You know, nice he's really got to up. keep his distance, doesn't he, when he's fighting? Um, the thing is, is Buttigieg just he just shuts that distance down so well and works for the body. He does. It's my first time of looking at Anthony Buttigieg in the flesh, and uh, I've heard nothing but good things about this young man. I've refereed Rocky myself. I've watched him a number of times. I like what I see. He's a good fighter. This is. Rocky Jerkic. TikTok and he's shutting that this But he's like he's all over Jerkic at the moment. Just found a hasn't found this is straight into it. Fight. In the open nation that was given to me and I did I questioned it but I was told no it's ten rounds and I thought oh well okay I'm, who am I to argue but it came back that it was always twelve rounds our supervisor at, at ringside here Andrew Campbell the Combat Sports Commission Scotty Brower and Nick Ashton 
Oh, oh big body, body shot, shot by uh, by Jerkic. That's what uh, that's what yeah. Butters is going to have to watch out by yeah. letting uh, by letting Jerkic yeah. tee off like that because he's a fluent puncher. He's got great yeah. power. That, there's a bit of pepper in that right hand, Brad. Oh, there is. Yep. Yeah. How did you see that first round, Julian? Yeah. Well, I, uh, look, I. Uh, I think it's a feeling out round. Um, yep. You could, probably could give it to Anthony Buttigie, I think, on his work rate. I agree with you. there in front of you. Um, not a lot in it. No, it's not a lot in it at all. I, I would give that first round si simply by tenacity. Yeah. To See if he can change that around. Professional. Round 11. Just want to say a big thank you to the professional boxing and sports board Victoria, our, our uh, board members tonight. Second round. Second round. And Mick. Super welterweight spider. Round two. Our doctor. Peter Lewis. Tonight. Good to see the boxers using the punished gloves. Great gloves. Yep. I think they're probably the finest gloves in the um, in the sport at the moment. Puncher and also another good Queensland brand of glove, but punish. Got to say hello to uh, Nick Partridge and the team yeah, up at Punish. In, in, yeah, you in looked after Gulf me Coast. when I was up there. Oh, he's a champion Nick. bloke, good friend of mine, Nick, and uh, we supplied the gloves. But they're a beautiful glove, punish glove. But, uh, you know, Butt Buttigieg's just started the way, and this he'll be, the, he'll be like this all night. Well, it's, if he's going to be like that, he'll win the fight. And if Rocky's not going to, he's just going to stand there and let Butters take it off him, well, then he's going to lose this fight. But uh, the jerky yeah, will nice left hand start right to, hand he'll start to find his range yeah. in a few moments because yeah. he is very, very fluent, fast hands. There's that's the little right. uppercut. He's just got to, you know, and that's the thing. You can't just walk up when, you, when you're fighting someone with such a, such a, a nice right hand because that might set you on your bum. Terrific fight here so far. We're in round number two. And jerky just letting Butter just take the um, the initiative off him but let me tell you jerky can change things around with one punch yeah, here's nice the body, fluid shot, body yeah. shots oh head, nice head, head in the body beautiful rib shot there by uh, by jerky oh just missed with that big right he hand. did once he finds his what, range and he gets a balance that's what butter he's got to do he's got to keep moving that head he's got to keep tick tock and tick tock and be a target this is a real opportunity for both fighters here it's a great opportunity for Butters. nice right hand left hook yeah. there by butters just pitching the round so far off jerky he looks like he's just upset the rhythm and the pattern of rocky jerky a little bit at the moment and rocky just can't find that uh, that rhythm hasn't been able to stop the on flow of punches from uh, from butters because butters is in nice his face nice little right hand short right hand to the you're going to find that if Rocky's going to get into this fight, it's going to be just with one or two punches come, yeah. come yeah. against the run of play. But again, uh, again too, um, Brad, is that, you know, but again, he's fought some pretty serious punches. Oh, he has, absolutely. And, and, and walks through them, you know, so I think he's got a serious chin. Oh, yeah, I think he has got a serious chin when you look at, look at the size of his neck. But I think um, Rocky Jerry can punch a bit by the look of it. He can. It'll be interesting to see after about three or four rounds of the shine comes off these boys. But yep. certainly Anthony Buttigieg at the moment is taking the fight up to uh, Rocky Jerkic. Won the first round on our unofficial card. Looks like he's winning round number two. Oh, he unloads on Jerkic, Buttigieg. Left hook, that's a nice little left hook. He lets it go. It's not an arm punch neither. We're inside oh, 10 seconds. Just, just made him miss there and drop that right hand on oh, him. Oh, Rocky comes back with a combination to the body. Yeah, there's a big combination at the end Now, there for Rocky. those of you looking at home, how are you going to score that round? Because Rocky Jerk had come back with a couple of very good punches toward the end of the round. But as a professional judge, what our judges will be looking for here is the fact that the judges, that they'll be looking for a fighter who's fought for the whole three minutes of the round, for the entire three minutes. And Buttigieg did that. Yeah. While Jerky had his moments and hit him with some good punches, Buttigieg took the fight up to him, worked him and worked him and worked him around. The effective aggression was with Anthony Buttigieg, and Rocky just hasn't found his range yet. And he hasn't found the rhythm, but it's not going to take too long. But certainly I like what I see in Anthony Buttigieg. Yeah. 
And then he's, look, he doesn't change. He just fights all night like this. Unbelievable. So it's really up to Rocky, really, to step it up, get his distance and start letting the shots on. He doesn't look phased, Rocky Jerkic. The facial expression hasn't changed one bit. But see, that's what you want to see a bit more of, the left hand. When you've, yep. got, a, when you've got a guy that's that much taller than your opponent, you, you fight wrong. Don't that, let that him come left in lead, here. That left lead of Rocky's not as fast it's, and snappy no, as it normally is. No, it's not is. snappy. It's just it's poking. It's not snappy. He's going to need to be faster and snappier than that to keep Buttigieg out. See, Buttigieg comes in with the, le the looping left hook. That's what I call the Joe Frazier left hook, the peekaboo yeah. stance and followed yeah, by the he's got that similar style, hook. hasn't he, Joe yeah, Frazier? He has. Yep, he has. Hard style of the fight. Double left hook by Buttigieg. Taking the fight up to Jerky again. The right hand misses, hit the glove. And he steps He steps his feet over. And left hook and the right uppercut hits Jerky again. Just can't get off at the moment, Rocky Jerky. Oh, good body shot there by this Rocky This is a Jerky. real test for both fighters and a real opportunity for both fighters to stamp themselves in the name of the record books to be alongside some of the absolute greats of Australian boxing that strapped on the Commonwealth Championship belt. Of course, we've got the Commonwealth Champion here with us tonight, the current Commonwealth Champion in the Super Middleweight Division, the 76 point. 364 Super Mid 8 Division, Zach Dunn. And of course, the latest of the Commonwealth Champions that Australia has is Chris George from Queensland, who won just recently, or late 2016, I think it was. And here's oh. the left hook again by uh, Anthony Buttigieg, the uppercut by his growing in confidence here. Buttigieg stands in front of Jerky. Jerky with the left hook in the right hand. The peekaboo stands, standing there doing nothing. Got to start throwing some punches, Jerky. He's letting Anthony Buttigieg take this fight away from him. That's Buttigieg in the white shorts with the yeah. red and the silver stripes, the red band and he's, the silver look, he's stripes. Look, he's only throwing the ones and the twos, isn't he? You know what I mean? He's he got to let him go. He's got to throw oh, his hands. Buttigieg throwing punches and punches here, twos and threes. Jerky Knight throwing ones and twos. He's trying to dig them in and trying to he's trying to load up a little bit too much, Rocky Jerky. He's just got to let the hands yeah. flow, in my view. What a good fight so far, a real technical fight. It's a clash of styles. It's a clash of the boxer versus the brawler. Here in round number three at the Melbourne Pavilion. A little, little, like, little bit like the Ali Joe Frazier. Frazier, absolute replica. <laughs> Is there a game plan by, uh, by Jerky to let Buttigieg maybe the shine come off him and punch himself out a little bit? A la Frazier and... Um, the Thriller in Manila, oh, not the Thriller in Manila, the one in Africa, whatever it was, I can't even remember now. I've got Foreman. two interested Foreman in this fight. I don't think so. There's nice a beautiful little uppercut by uh, but, he, but he's throwing one. He needs to throw combinations, Brad. He, uh, great work for Buttigieg again. Another round for him. Absolutely. I'm by unofficial card, and the crowd here at the Melbourne Pavilion Going are responding. Berserk. They can see something happening here because their man, Anthony Buttigieg, Butters, as he's known to the crowd, has stole the first three rounds. Well, he didn't steal them, he's earned them. Yeah. And are we in for an upset, Julian Holland? Well, it, it's um, it's really up to Rocky Jerick to start letting his hands go. And um, because I know Butters will, uh, he'll keep fighting like this all night. Yeah, absolutely. I haven't seen him fight, but that's what everyone has said to me. Hey, he doesn't have a reverse gear. He puts it in the first gear and he just stays there for the entirety of the fight. And it's going to take something special to fight back and get him on the back foot and get him, get him missing his punches and, and take that confidence away from him. Three, da three down. That means... Jerkic needs the next three rounds. It takes us up to round six, which will take us 50% even just to get even. On our unofficial scorecard, let me tell you. Nice left lead that's by Jerkic. That's what he needs. Yeah, he needs that jab. Then he follows he up with the uppercut that just missed. Oh, Butter nice kick. left hook by Butter. Butter cut again, with the uppercut. Butter cup. I mean, Butter kick with the <laughs> right uppercut is what I'm trying that's to a, say. That's a new punch, the Butter cut. <laughs> Oh, he hits him, digs it into the rib cage there. Walks into a left lead for his trouble from Jerkic. There's the left lead by Jerkic. 
Jerky gets actually... Doesn't want to, doesn't coming, want to sit there. He no, he's coming to down to the height of uh, yeah. Buttigieg. He needs to fight long in my view. He's that's used, right. not using his height and reach. And that's what you don't want to do when you're a tall fighter is fight low to be a short fighter. No, I couldn't agree with you more, Julian Holland. Beautiful left and right by Jerkic there. That was better work. Double left hand followed by the short right hand. He's just standing in front of Butters. He doesn't need to do that if he's going to win this Commonwealth and OPBF title. For our friends at home and around the country watching, the OPBF is the Oriental and Pacific Boxing Federation, which was born in 1954, but its origins go back way yeah. back deeper than that. It was born between the two countries, the Philippines and oh, Japan. Oh, drop that right hand. That's what he's waiting on. But, you know, sometimes when you're fighting a guy like Butters, that, that sometimes you're not getting that right hand on clean. You know? And Butters misses with the overarm right, overhand right, and hits him with the left hook. A little short punches by both fighters. They could fight this in the telephone box at the moment. Yeah, at the moment. And that's really what Rocky Jerick doesn't want. He doesn't he need needs that. to be fine at length. He certainly does, Julian. He certainly does. You've called that correctly. Lovely body shot there by Rocky Jerick. Oh, nice left, left hook, hook there by Butters. Another one. And when he lets it go, it's got good speed and good anticipation I, as well. I, I just love the tick-tocking from Butters. He's just, his, yep. his angles, he's shifting his, his punches height. very well, isn't he? Shifting his height, yep. his angles left left and right, left and right. He's always making you, making you think, this making round. you set. And Julian, this round is a real chess match, isn't it? Yeah. Butters just at the moment shading Rocky Jerkic in round number four. Shading him again, Rocky Jerkic just can't find a rhythm, can't find a range, can't get off. Looks like he's hurt there. Jerkic punching, he's not punching back, holding up. He's hurt. He looks like he's a little bit hurt, Rocky Jerkic. I think he's all right. He's just not throwing punches back, and the referee's going to look closely at that. Anthony Butterman yeah, nice stands there. Game, oh, really. beautiful left and right by Jerkic. I think he, I think sort of Jer it's like when he gets hurt, then he fires up. He does. Absolutely he does. Anthony Butters he hasn't had that look in his face yet. No, he hasn't. he's got to get angry. He's got yeah. to get mean. He's got to get dirty. He's got to get yeah, mighty yeah, exactly. unclean. Another good round for uh, Anthony yeah. Butters. And, uh, you know, Jerky, Jerky you know, um, like Butters is doing all the work and uh, he looks he looks uh, healthier than, than Jerky right at this moment. Absolutely. He certainly is. How are you scoring this fight at home? If you are scoring it, have you got Anthony Butters in front or have you got Rocky Jerkic in front? The champion Rocky Jerkic, he's taken all before him, 15 in love, undefeated with 12 knockouts. His opponent, Anthony Butters, is showing him a clean pet set of heels tonight. Yeah. They're, they're man on a mission. And his trainer, Sammy DeMoore, spoke to me earlier on and he said, hey, my man is called the man and he's going to win the title tonight. They're a team on a mission and they look like they are a very good team. Yeah, totally, totally. But, uh, you know, I've just got a feeling that Jerky, um, you has, know, he's just has about it? to ch change gears, you know. No, has it. That's right. Um, I, I agree. But he's doing everything right right now. Jimmy Boland brings us out for round number five. And on our unofficial scorecards, I have it. Lovely left hook there. 40 to 36 in favour of Anthony Buttigieg. Rocky Jerkic looked like he was getting back into the fight when he does let his hands go. He looks very, very impressive because I like him as a oh, fighter. Nice He's a left hook there. fighter. He's got the punches. He's just not using them. And fighting on the back move is not going to help him. He needs to keep Anthony Buttigieg out. At the moment, he's not doing that. He's got the punches. He's got, oh, the, left, lovely he's got the left lead. He's got the right hand and the left hook and the uppercut. That's, yeah. Sadly, they're not being That's what utilized. he needs to do. Just keep moving the angles. This is for the vacant Commonwealth. 69.85 kilo. The 11 stone title in the old language or 154 pounds. And the winner of this fight will go into the history books as one of the greats of Australian boxing to have won the British Empire title and for the first time in many many years I think probably around 1980 oh gee maybe 1983 or 85 when we had five Commonwealth champions we have the opportunity now we've got three we've got Zach Dunn and we could have another one tonight Chris George in Queensland the other
and Rocky just not doing nothing, standing flat-footed yeah. in front of his opponent. And you can't do that to a fighter like no. this who tags over the top with overhand right hands like that. Jerkic shouldn't be getting hit with punches like that. Whether or not he's, you know, hasn't had a good preparation or whether or not he's been crook as he came into the into the fight, I'm not making excuses for him, not taking anything away from Anthony Butters because you can only beat the guy that's in front of you. But yeah. he doesn't look the same fighter that I know that I've refereed and that I have seen on a numerous occasions. But gee, I'm impressed with Anthony Buttergig. Oh yeah, look, the pressure, the press is just, uh, it's telling, isn't it? You yeah. know, and um, I think Rocky Jerick, unless you've um, experienced it, it's probably a big shock for him. Oh, Buttergig unloads on Jerkic, on Jerkic, unload with about a four or five punch combination there, and got hit with a low blow there, but Rocky just on the back move. Just walking back. Buttergig really taking the fight up to Rocky, smothering him in punches. That left hook is a winner for Buttergig tonight. Yeah, yeah. Right hand, the short right hand, he, he just can't miss. Every punch he's throwing, he's almost finding a home on Rocky's chin. He's definitely a man possessed tonight. He's just let, letting his uh, his hands go. He's just shutting that distance down. And that's, you know, as closing the, the gap between yeah, the two. Yeah, for the smaller bloke, that's yeah. what he has to do. If yeah. he stays back, he's going to get hit with big and shots. And the punches, Julian, he's not throwing straight punches. You notice the raw yeah, roundhouse yeah, punches. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the best way that he's getting around. The, yeah. he's, he's, he's sort of mixing it up, and Rocky can't work out where the punches, the angles, where he's going. Now the straight punches, and he's still getting hit. Yeah. And Jimmy Boland almost caught one for his trouble as well. Yeah, another, another round for Anthony Buttergy. That's a better round as well. Yeah. He won that clearer than he has the previous couple of rounds. But a good round by G. And look, it's a one, it, by the scorecards, it's a one-sided fight. But something tells me the jerk is about to explode yeah, and put right. it into another gear. Yeah. And then we got a fight. But yeah. right at the moment... Butters is doing all he can do, and he's on his way to wearing the Commonwealth and the OPBF title straps. Because and you can do nothing but give him the best. Of, because it is best. 12 rounds. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter if you're winning the first four or the first 11. That's right. The championship rounds, rounds 10, 11, and 12 are yet to come. We're in round number six coming up now here at the. Melbourne Pavilion, and what a fight that Brian Armitage has been able to put together. A fight that's a long time in the making, and a fight that everyone wanted to see. And Jerkic walks straight out to Buttergig and stands flat-footed in the centre of the ring, and that does him what he needs to do. Tries to push Jerkic, uh, Buttergig back again. Not working. He needs to be more, more mobile, Rocky Jerky. I'd like to see him on the balls of his feet, start moving around, stepping off, using some angles, but he's not doing any of that. And the stupid part is he can do it, and he has been doing it for all of his career. He's just not doing it tonight. He's really trying to sit on that right hand, I think. Just not throwing enough punches. There's a little short uppercut. Buttergeek misses with the left hook. The left hook, he knows he's found a home for it. He's going to throw it every single time. He'll throw the right hand and then the left hook. There's the left hook to the body. Now you watch this. Buttergeek, you'll stand there. He'll plant. He'll set himself. Yeah, and then watch. He'll... Here come the right hand. You watch. Ah, oh, jerky with a beautiful body shot there. Left, left and right to the body. There he's wild left hand by Buttergeek. Backs him up above our commentary position. Jerky just standing there, tentative. Trying to find a range, trying to find a home for his own right hand at his left hook to the body. Still not throwing enough punches. There's a couple more punches. Better round for uh, for Jerky yeah. this round. Getting a bit busier. Walks into a couple of punches by Buttergeek right now. The right hand followed by the left hook. Even when Jerky tries to walk Buttergeek back, he's, he's, he's struggling with that as well. He is. Um, but he can't walk just relentless. He's just relentless. Must be he's very, forward. very strong and close. Because I've refereed yeah. Rocky. Yeah. He is strong yeah. and close. Yeah. He's hard to move around. I can move a heavyweight yeah. more around quicker yeah. than I can move him yeah. around. But by G, Buttigieg must be very strong in front. Yeah. Say he's A, the A, the A frame in his body yeah. between yeah, the legs yeah. makes, yeah. makes it very yeah. strong. And Rocky has not given himself room to punch. Look at that. Exactly. He can't yeah. open up there. He can't. Yeah, you, open need, up. you need leverage. He does. He moves back. He looks a sign of an unconfident fighter as Buttergeek stealing round number six from Jerkic. Beautiful left hook oh, by Jerkic hey. there. That hurt Buttergeek. 
followed up by the right hand. He hasn't followed up even more now. He's closed the gap a little bit. Stay long. Fight long. But he's not doing it. Ooh, Overarm right just, just misses. Missed right hand. Lovely better round for, uh, better round for a jerky. Front. He hasn't done enough to win the round though. There's a little mosquito buzzing around his, no around his nose and that's in the shape of Rocky, of uh, Anthony Buttigieg. Yeah, and that's what it's like, isn't it? Oh, it is. More punches from Jerky now. Better round in round number six. He still hasn't done enough to win the round, but he's busier. There's some more punches in bunches by Buttigieg. We're inside 10 seconds of round number six. Yeah. And a close round, Julian Holland, yeah, but Buttigieg yeah. has just pinched yeah. it in my yeah. view. Rocky, Rocky Jarek uh, landed some really nice shots here, um, let his hands go a little bit. And then, uh, then I felt that he, um, he actually stopped on the... Like he sort of watched his work a little bit he instead did. of instead of really going Absolutely. the next level. Yeah, and I think um, I think Buttigy, you know, just did enough work again to win the round. He did. He fought hard for the whole three minutes, and that's what our judges are going to be looking for. They're going to be sort of saying, "Hey, this kid yeah. worked for the entire three minutes from the start of the bell to the end of the bell." Rocky had his moments there, cleaner, crisper punches. Yeah. Few more punches than what he did, but not enough to pinch the but round. But you can see that he's, uh, you know, he's dangerous still, Rocky Jarek. Very. And, um, you know, he's just got to, yeah, like, just look out. Buttigieg, he's got to be careful. Don't want to be walking in there. Can things. Anthony Buttigieg join the list of some of the former Commonwealth Junior Middleweight Champions? There was none better than Sharky Raymond in 1972. Kenny Salisbury in 84. The great Troy Waters, I hope you're listening to tonight. Troy Waters, he won it a couple of times in 87. Leo Young Jr., I know Leo Sr. very well. Leo in 1994. And Bones, Kevin Kelly won it in 95 and again in 97. They were our junior middleweight Commonwealth champions. And, oh. Butters just comes out the same way. He has head on the chest. We had a couple of unsuccessful challenges for the junior middleweight title in our time too. Craig Trotter, the Victorian, in 1991 and 1992, unsuccessfully challenged for the junior middleweight title. Shannon Taylor in 2001, and when he lost to this young guy sitting right beside me, Julian Holland in Sydney, and of course Gavin Top in a fight that I put together with Ray Giles when they went to Canada um, in uh, and lost over there to... Um, Tony Badia in Edmonton in Canada in November 1995 was one of the fights that I put together after reigniting the Commonwealth title in 1998. I was very proud of that effort. But back to the fight here, Anthony Buttigieg, is he going to join some of the greats of Australian boxing as the Commonwealth champion and the OPBF junior middleweight champion as he backs Rocky Jerking up to the ropes. The zero, the yep. O is going to go on one of these one boys' of the, career yep. tonight. Yep. Um, Anthony Buttigieg is fighting like hell to protect his but, but Rocky's undefeated just, Rocky's record. Rocky's just not throwing enough. He's just trying to set that one shot. And the way Buttigieg's coming in with ducking and he changing is, his angles, and but you know the what? one shot's hard to get. He's an opportunist um, in a nice way, Rocky Jerky. Yep. He only needs, you only need to open that the door a shot, little bit. Right, yeah. And he'll, he'll, yep. he'll put it. Oh, there's a left hook, uppercut. That hurt, Rocky. Gee... I can't believe if he was a racehorse, we'd be drug testing this kid. <laughs> it's not the Rocky Jerky that I know, and it's not the Anthony Butters. I've never seen the Anthony Butters fight, but boy, am I impressed. He is an absolute little tiger. And he's giving a bit of cheek to the red corner at the yeah. same time. Wow, that's a little bit of confidence for you. The uppercut, Jerky with his own uppercut. It's Anthony Butters in the blue, Anthony Buttergeek Butters as he's known to his friends and his fight fans in the blue boxing gloves with the white trunks with the red stripe and silver silver stars and Rocky Jerkick in the black and the red with the red punish gloves. Beautiful uppercut left hook to the body by, uh, by Jerkick. And he stands there and doesn't do anything now. Misses with a left hook. And that's the oh, thing. Big right hand by, uh, by Anthony Buttergeek. So many big shots have gone over Butters' heads from Jerky. He's got to start maybe 45 and bringing them up. If Butters had some real power, some raw power, you'd like to see because I tell you why, he certainly tested the chin of, um, of Rocky Jerky. And uh, he, he's only hurt Rocky, in my opinion, two occasions. And what another good round for, uh, for, Rock, for uh, Anthony Buttergeek. 
Harris lost all day for a fishing career. Keep song buzzing here in Melbourne. He doesn't look happy over in the corner, uh, Rocky Jerkic, listening to um, to his trainer, Rob Fogarty. Richard Fogarty not saying too much there. Good team they are from Steel City Boxing down in Newcastle, formerly up in Sunshine Coast in Queensland. And what can he do to turn this all around while the corner of Sammy Damore and the team... Platinum Fitness Centre... Sammy DeMoor out at Leverton and Anthony Buttigieg, the Victorian product. And a product of Brian Armatruder and Big Time Boxing. He is a, an Armatruder product because yeah. he's had all his fights here. And uh, let me tell you, while Butters does the fighting, I guess Brian Armatruder can be very, very proud in the fact that he knows that he's created opportunities for this young fighter and is going to put him in the history books. There's not enough there coming back from Rocky Jerry. Not as not. It's really no. disappointing to see Rocky like this because I know he's a much better fighter, taking nothing away from Anthony Butters, Buttergig, because yeah. you know styles make fights. This totally, young kid totally. is and fighting his absolute heart out. He's I fighting his skin out. He's fighting out of his skin tonight. But that's the way. Now he fights all this every time. He's yep. just uh, he's action packed. But there is so much more on the line tonight, Julian. Yeah. You know, there's a lot on the line. There's a lot to lose, and he's the one who can lose it. So, very, very interesting. Anthony Buttergeek, Butters, as to his friends, is helping putting Victorian boxing straight back firmly on top of the tree where it's always been. In recent times, New South Wales has sort of stolen some of that thunder. Queensland have always been threatening but never been delivered. But uh, Victoria has had the proud, oh, beautiful left hook, and he clutching yeah. right hand. He hurt, and he hurt Rocky Jerkic with that left hook on the right hand. Rocky just standing there. Oh, right hand, left hook shot. again, he covers up. Right, right at the moment, Rocky Jerkic hasn't got an answer for Not it. Not at all, no he answer just, whatsoever. Yeah. And he's fighting the wrong style of fight by allowing Anthony Buttergig to put his no, put his head on his chest and fight his fight. Rocky would, should get out, start using oh, that. Oh, lovely left right hand there. There Ooh. it is again. Starts to tee off a little bit. Yeah. Left hook, right hand. But he yeah, still he can't get his nice shot then. See, he's trying to give himself some range. He opens up in front of our commentary position here. Yeah. Rocky Jerk, he, he's hurt Anthony Buttergig. He's let go. He's Good let go. range of boxing. Good, some punches, some powerful punches. Oh, big punches. shot, body shot, body shot. Oh, Uppercut by shot. Jerky is really unleashing to some powerful blows on. But Buttergeek stands straight there, in front of him. And he's going to come straight back. Oh. So Jerick's just unleashed and now Buttergeek just stayed back. The tide of the fight of this particular round has changed. Jerky really starting to unleash on Buttergeek. He's tired, he's tired, he's, he's tired. As he punched himself out. Yeah, he's tired. Oh, he really is. Buttergeek comes go. That was strong. his last go. Powerful lefts and rights by Buttergeek now. Can he put an end to this? Oh, the Commonwealth Championship. He can see the belt wrapped around his waist. Oh, it's oh, hard. He's letting it's everything go at He's it. hurt Rocky Jerkic. Rocky really gave him one last fling there. There's not a lot left in the yeah, tank for he's, Rocky he's Jerkic. Let... I think they're going to... Oh, oh the there's a the mouth comes out as a round save. Oh, Butters knows he's on oh. the verge of something special. He's on fire. He's on fire. That was that was that was Rocky Jerick's last. He just sort of let go with everything. I thought he had him hurt, but then Rocky oh, Jerry came back and yeah. just started letting go shots. It was like that was the last bastion for Rocky. Yeah. He unleashed, he gave it a go. There was 30-odd punches. He's a little low in this place. He is, but Butters didn't reply to any of them. But yeah. Jerkic just really let it go. And then in the end, he just ran out of gas yeah. and there was nothing left yeah. in the tank. And Buttergy came and then, on top of him and started the steamrolling towards yeah. the end and of the then, round. And uh, like, the crowd's gone mad. And like, what's Jerky going to think? What, what do I have to hit this bloke with to hurt him? Absolutely. The crowd here, the Melbourne crowd, are on Gary, their feet. Nuts. They were spent clenching around ringside here because they can see that they're on the verge of something special. A Commonwealth Championship, an OPBF title, perhaps is going to come to Melbourne. It'll be 2-1 for Melbourne, 1 for Queensland. 
as the bell goes for round number nine. And at the moment, it is an absolute shutout on my unofficial scorecard. I have it 80 to 72 in favour of Anthony Buttigieg. And after that round, he, he went back to his corner and pumped in the air. And he's confident. He is oh, confident, he, is. Brad. he punched the air. He's fit he's, and he's, he's growing in confidence every round. And I've got to say, Barry oh. Mott. Left Punching hook. left, hook to the body left. Really hurt. He doesn't know which way to go now. He doesn't know whether to step to the left or step. Barry Michael said to me on the telephone call yesterday. Very close fight. He thought Buttigieg needed to get him out of out of there in three or four rounds if he was to win the fight. But he said, yeah, he's a little lion, this guy. He's a let me Hello. tell you, Barry Michael knows something about the sport of professional boxing and how to win Commonwealth well, titles. Well, he fought what, in about look, seven and, of them. And that's what we said at the start of the fight. The fighters that Buttigieg's beaten are uh, quality, quality fighters. He has. Yeah, and, absolutely. You know, you don't, and, that's, and that's the thing about when, you, when you're coming up as a fighter. You need to learn every fight. Oh, the, you the can't frustration get better. on the face of Rob Fogarty, I can see he's got a towel in his hand. He's not really happy at all because they've prepared hard for this fight. Yeah. He's an opportunity and Rob is really frustrated at the moment because he knows that his young charge is better than what he's displaying tonight. Totally, but, and totally he is, but you know what? He's only been allowed to do what Buttigieg's letting him do. He has, absolutely. And styles make fights, but it's exactly. not a confident Rocky Jerkic at the moment. He's just bouncing, bouncing on the ball of his feet. He hasn't got a game plan. He hasn't got a plan B. He hasn't, he's just throwing punches there. And that, look at the way he's yeah, bouncing there's, back. There's he looks there, like yeah. a hurt fighter there. Yeah, yeah he's not nice, confident at all. One punch at a time on the back move. He hasn't come forward. That's not the sign of a confident fighter by Rocky Jerky. That's not the Rocky Jerky guy, I know, but it's certainly a oh, oh, big right hand. Right hand. Now he's fighting better. He's fighting long on the back move. But actually, what, what, what happened then? Butters actually stood back. That's that little bit just yep. to have a little bit of a breather. Rocky Jarrett dropped that right hand on. So what he's got to do is be careful of that. Has he woken up that he, he needs to fight long there? That's what he. This is what he should have been doing from the start of the start of the round. There's this little short uppercut. There's no power in those punches, neither, Julian. Look, just no. put their arm punches, just pushing his arm out. And when Buttigieg comes, he unleashes there yeah. a little bit, Jerky. Yeah, Jerky got the better out of it. Oh, hit him a nice right hand there. On the, again on the back move. There's the little uppercut. He just puts it out there. He's for still got that again. power, though. Better round by Jerky. Yeah, definitely. Inside 10 seconds. Better round of boxing by Jerky. I'll go. tell you what, there I reckon he might have just I've, pinched I've this round. I've given that round for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, I agree with you. That's what he should have been doing from the start. Yep, by 100%. But uh, Buttigieg's only allowing him to do what he does. Maybe Anthony Buttigieg took a break for that round and just uh, yeah, you saw had a bit of a rest. But it was better work by Rocky Jerky because he fought long. He yeah. fought on the back foot. The left lead was in his face. And then when, when Butters came in, he planted the right hand straight out on his chin. A better round, and he fought consistently for that whole round. Yeah. And that's why we both gave him that round. The first round that he has won on our unofficial scorecard, Julian Holland, is yeah. round number nine. Out of a fighter of this calibre, I can't believe that. No, no Can you? not. Well, I, I can't, but uh, you know that was probably the, what he needed to do the whole fight. Yes, he just, yep. I think he's allowed um, um, Buttigieg just to shut that distance down a little bit. But right now, saying in saying that, Anthony Buttigieg does not need to get careless right now. Not at all, because Rocky Jerick still got the power. Oh, absolutely. We're into the championship yeah. rounds now. Julian Holland's round 10, 11, and 12. The championship rounds. Referee Jim Boland waves him away and let's go. It's Anthony Buttigieg in the white shorts with the blue uh, with the blue Ooh, shorts. Swing and a miss. And Rocky Jerkic in the red gloves with the black and red shorts. The young indigenous Queenslander who now calls Newcastle home. Just not on his game tonight, but Anthony Buttigieg hasn't given him the opportunity. The set hasn't given him. There he is fighting on the back move now, picking his punches, taking his time. Beautiful left lead by Jerkic. And then he puts the right hand out for Anthony Buttigieg to come and walk on it. Jerkic using all of the ring. That's better stuff. Steps off a little bit, showing his defense. My fellow commentator here tonight, Jordan Ballerini. Jordan, how are you seeing the fight so far? What do you think? 
Yeah, I think uh, Butters is definitely controlling the ring. He's initiating the fight and he's taking time away from Rocky oh, Jokic. Lovely, really. Rocky Jokic isn't using his length and that's the real issue. And, and Jordan, what do you think Jokic could do now, apart from using his range and his height and his reach, to get back into the fight? Uh, we gave him the first round as round number nine. So, you know, we've got the championship rounds now. So what can he do to win these next three rounds? Oh, he's still on the back foot. I think he's got to be on the front foot and re definitely attack uh, Butters. Yep, absolutely. I agree, I agree with you. A little bit of the tape coming loose on the glove of Jerkic, but yeah. uh, it's been a very competitive fight so far, even though it's a sh shutout on the scorecards. Yeah. It's definitely a competitive fight. It, um, it's, it's very important, this fight. The winner will probably be the top 15 in the WBC for the super, super middleweight. Absolutely, and it will also go down in the history of, uh, of some of the greats who have won the Commonwealth and the OPBF title. Um, in the past, so uh, it's it's got it. There's a lot on the line tonight. Yeah, we're definitely. We're just going to check that glove. And uh, referee Jim Boland has just um, just called for a bit, bit of a break. Oh, How do you see the fight going from here? Do you think? Uh, I mean, of course, at this particular stage on our unofficial scorecard, we've got Buttigieg well up, but can he turn? Can Jerky pull this out of the fire? Do you think he's got the firepower and the initiative to be able to come back and pull it out of the fire? Uh, I think it's very difficult. I think uh, Butters is just going to cause too many problems for Jerkic at the moment. I've got a score, unofficial scorecard, 89 to 82 in favour of Butters. Yeah, it's exactly how I've got it too. So, so well done, mate. Thanks. It's good to have you here with us, um, uh, Jordan. And uh, we'll watch. We're back to the action now as uh, Rocky Jerkic here in round number 10. Beautiful body shot yeah. by Jerkic there. He's, he's starting to do what he should have done probably the, in the early rounds Absolutely right now, you should've. know what I mean? Um, and that, that leads me to, the, to thinking whether or not maybe Rocky um, has suffered an injury or injury or came into the fight yeah. not as well prepared yeah. as, 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 yeah. as, as, we, uh, as we can because I know Rocky is a better fighter than that and he's just getting a warning for... Uh, See, but, the Butters just jumped straight on him. He has. Give him no room. They've had a, they've had, you know, Sammy Demore from Laverton. They've had a great, great game plan, and they've come to the fight and they've stuck to it. I and think, uh, the way it's going, it's going to go the whole way. I, yeah, I think, I, I think it's going to go the distance. And, and my good friend Barry Michael said yesterday it'll go the distance, but as a win. Oh, oh big left hook. Left hook. At the end of round number ten, Buttigieg just turned around before the bell went. Look at him! <laughs> wow! Hit him with the left hook and walked Julian. off and said hello. hello. I think it was a um, bit better round hey, for, uh, for Rocky, but yeah, I don't was. think he like, I, no, I, had him, I had him win in the early part of it. Um, I, I could probably give that to Rocky just. I, I was thinking he's boxing better, but Butters is, uh, you know, could, could have gone either way. I thought I thought Butters won only because of the initiative he took it up. Rocky yeah. hit him with a few cleaner punches, yeah, but yeah. whether he did with enough punches or not, I don't know. And that's not that's why we're not judges. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, not. I'm not anymore anyway. <laughs> 98, 92. I have it on my unofficial scorecard. He's given the last two rounds to Rocky Jerkic. Can he turn it and make it three and make it a little bit closer? Can he do something special and pull it out of the fire? Round number 11, we're in the championship rounds now. Can Rocky Jerkic turn it all around? Pull out a, rab a rabbit out of a hat, is what yep. we want to say. Can he snatch defeat from the jaws of victory or can he snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? Anthony Buttigieg has slowed down visibly, uh, visibly, but he's still tenacious, he's still fighting hard. Lovely body shot there from Michael Jerk. But, you know, um, he's, got, he's got those. a beautiful kid of punches. Yeah, and he's been throwing those all night, but, but Buttigie hasn't flinched one of them. So Not he's at been, all. He's no. been, uh, you know, he's well prepared. Oh, incredibly well prepared. Well, this is the fight of his life, Brad.
Nice little double left double hook left there. Hook. Yeah, double left hook. Look, you know, but he can just said, do that naturally, you know. Oh, he does it just naturally, and of course, he's got nice a great kit of punches. He just hasn't been able to throw them tonight. But again, take give credit to Anthony Buttigieg oh, yeah. because he hasn't allowed Rocky to fight his not fight at all. Not and at that's all. great ring, ring generalship from from the young Victorian. They're both 28 years of age. Buttergig born in October 1988 and Rocky born in March 88. So his birthday was just a couple of days ago when he turned 28. He's a Pisces, as I know, because I'm one and my birthday on Sunday. And back to the fight here. Jerky fighting yeah. a better fight on the back. Yeah, 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 he looks yeah. better. Doesn't want to throw that left lead there. Did you notice that? Maybe he's hurt that left hand. Look at that. Just... Oh, there's the left yeah. lead there, but he didn't want to throw that he's left hand. He's just not throwing enough off. punches. And, and that this shows he can fight. But this is what yeah. he had to do early on. Maybe Buttigieg slowed down a little bit because he's Anthony worked has so slowed hard. Down. Absolutely. Yeah. He slowed down. He might know that he's got an un unassailable lead. But how'd you see that, Julian? That was another oh, close round. Yeah, close round. You probably... Um, give that to uh, Jerick. Um, Jerky, I thought yeah, so because yeah. I thought yeah. he fought hard for the whole three minutes of the yeah. round. Yeah. And while well, you know Anthony yeah, has yeah. slowed down a little bit, Jerky just picked him off. Yeah. But you know, look, all, all, all Anthony Buttigieg's got to get through the round, and he wins the fight. And we know, and they'd be knowing okay. that, and they'd be telling him that. So take no risk and um, just get through it easy. We're up for the final round now, round number twelve. And on our unofficial scorecard, yep. Julian Holland, 107-102. And Anthony's up on his feet and he's ready to go. He wants to win this. He wants to put in a big last round to make sure that he's not going to lose it on the judges' scorecards. But And it's been an enthralling fight. The highs have been relatively high and the lows have been, you know, sort of mildly low. But the championship round, round number 12. Boys, shake hands. Nice little left lead by uh, Jerky. Beautiful left lead. Just goes to show he can throw it when he has to. Yeah. There it is again. Left lead followed by the right hand. What can he pull out of the fire here? Can he win this last round, Rocky Jerky? The looping right he hand needs, by He Bunnicky. needs to do more than that to win the fight. He, yeah, he does. Knockout. There's some punches in bunches by Rocky. Body shot by... But a gig. Yeah, the crowd's just chanting Buttigieg on. Oh, he's got some support here. Hit him with a lovely body shot there. Yeah, doing well, Rocky Jerky. Finished off the last couple of rounds very, very well, even though they were very close. Oh, he oh, hits, hits right, Butters right, with a couple right. of punches. He finds his range now. A little bit too has little he, has too he got, has he, yeah, has he got enough in the tank to be able to f close it off? But, you know, out of all the fights I've seen Buttigieg fight, I've never seen him hurt. He just keeps walking and, uh, up. And I don't think he's really been hurt yeah. here. He got stunned a couple of times there, but yeah. nothing to the point where he's in danger of losing the fight. Beautiful punches by Jerkic. It's, it's the old saying, Brad, you can't buy a good chin. <laughs> Absolutely, you can't. I'll tell you what, if, the, if you could, we'd be millionaires, Julian. Oh, gee. Brad Vicali here with Julian Holland, the former Commonwealth and Australian champion, calling the fight here. The big Commonwealth Super welterweight, junior middleweight, light middleweight, whatever way you prefer it. The title is here on the Melbourne Pavilion. Oh, they're going off here. Round. In what has been a hard and thrilling fight that was punishing the whole way through. Yeah. 
and Rocky Jerk is finish off right. He slowed down a little bit in this last round. Anthony Buttigieg coming back. This is a very close, hard last round. Thirty seconds to go here but, at the Melbourne uh, Pavilion. Rocky, Rocky's corner just urging him on, just to let it all go. He just, I don't, I just question I just whether he's got it in the tank. Yeah, Beautiful yeah. punches in bunches yeah, there by yeah. Jerky, but no power. No, no power at all. There it is again. That's going to give him the round number twelve. All those punches. Look at that. Steps off. That's what he should have done seven, eight, nine rounds ago. There it is again. Punches in bunches. Yeah. Give him the last round, Rocky Jerk. He won yeah, the... yeah, definitely. He's won the last four. But um, I think Buttigieg's just shut it out early. Great fight, boys. Great fight. 116 to 111 on my unofficial scorecard. And, of course, we've been talking here, so it's very, very hard to determine who actually won the fight. But what an absolute enthralling contest. We've got a new Commonwealth champion. Is it mm. Butters, Anthony Buttergeek, or is it Rocky Jerkic? We feel here at ringside on our unofficial card that Rocky Jerkic has lost the fight, 111 to 116, so it's close. Um, but I think it was realistically, the, the fight was settled in that early, first, first early, seven first, or eight yeah, rounds, first, wasn't it? First seven rounds, first six rounds, shut out. Uh, Butters just put that much pressure on, shut that distance down, didn't allow Rocky Jerick to get off. And it's been. Jeez, I'll tell you what, Brad, they're nice belts these days. They are belts. Uh, can I swap a few of mine? Ah, we'll see what we can do for you, <laughs> Julie. We'll pull some strings. <laughs> We mentioned Ben Caps a little bit earlier on, of course. Um, a yeah. fight that I'd like to see is uh, Brian Brees, Ben Caps. How about that, Julian, for a fight? I think they fought before, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. I think that uh, Benny Caps would like a rematch, and I think if, uh, if uh, sorry, uh, Ryan Brees would like a rematch, and if Benny Caps and his turn are looking, there's a, a potential there. Maybe we can find an appropriate title and get two of the young bright stars of Victorian boxing back in the ring again. What a that's fight, what, Julian. That's what they need to do. Absolutely. Because the crowd loves it. We need good fights. We do. And tonight has been Wasn't something one. special, I think so. And these are the fights that we need to fight to make. And it's been wonderful that our promoter at Big Time Boxing, Brian Armatruda, has been able to deliver. Pardon? Boxing in Australia. Of three Commonwealth champions. That yep. hasn't happened since I think 1985 or 1983 or something. Here Let's go. go up to Matthew Pilios for the official decision. Either we were watching a different yeah. fight. <laughs> I love Rocky Jerk. 